Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a great day or a good night, a great evening, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. Um, today I'm going to be doing a journal tag video and this was suggested uh, not long ago by someone on my channel. They were commenting and saying, oh you should do the journal tag. So <laughs> I'm doing it today. Um, well, tonight because it's actually night time. It's like 9.22pm. So the first question was to show your current journal and what do you love about it and what would you change about it? So this is my current journal from Target. It was a rose gold um, PU cover, I think. I don't know what the PU actually stands for. <laughs> I need to kind of look that up. But um, yeah, so this is it. And what I love about it is because it's got like this like squishy cover. I really like, um, well, I actually haven't had a journal like this before, but I've kind of always wanted to. And the thing I would change about it is to kind of make the binding a bit more secure because it's got like this little gap in between the um, the cover and the actual binding. And that happens to all journals, but like I always get a bit worried about when it happens because I'm like worried the pages are just going to like fall out and it's just going to fall apart. So that's uh, the first question. So the second question is what journal do you plan to use next? And... Either it's going to be a Peter Popper Press journal or a Leuchtturm. Um, I have a few uh, Peter Popper Press ones that I've shown in another video. Those are all those ones there. And I think I might use this one if I was to choose one of uh, the Peter Popper Paw Press. <laughs> um, I just really like the cover on this one. It's like really shiny. It's got like the little, little glittery bits <laughs> on the cover. Or I would go for the Lectrum ones. Um, I got these a few weeks ago. They came in the mail like last month. Just, yeah. Just the end of last month, I think. And if I was to choose out of the two, it would be this one. Because I really like the berry cover. Um, the berry colour of it, sorry. So the next question is, what used journal have you enjoyed most and why? That would definitely be the level, the leather journal that I completed earlier this year. And the reason why I like it is because it is really bulky and I really love how bulky my journals can get. Um, yeah, um, that's the reason why I like this journal the most. And it's like, when I first bought it, it was like around that wide. Um, and the more I wrote in it and the more I glued stuff in it, it just gradually kind of <laughs> gotten fat. And these used to come over and be able to like get into like here. But it's just it can't now so the fourth question is when did you start journaling for some reason I just like ripped them out um when I was like really young I don't know why but I still have some of them and these from back when I was like nine years old and um I used to only just write one page and these are like from when I was on a holiday um yeah <laughs> Yeah, and there's just a couple of blank ones. Um, but that wasn't my earliest journal, but that's like kind of just what I um, had when I was little, if that makes any sense. So the next questions are kind of linking to the, um, to the question that I just answered. Um, so this is, do you still have your first journal? Um, I don't think I do. Um, not, I can't actually remember what my first journal actually was. But this one is from 2008, so I was seven years old, and this only just consisted me of just like writing random stuff. I'm not gonna open it because it's just embarrassing of what I've written in there. Um, it's only just writing. There's nothing glued in, nothing really fancy at all. Um, this is actually younger, um, or older, I should say, older than this one. Um, older. Sorry, <laughs> I can't get my words out. Yeah, this is actually older than these ones here, but these are just kind of showing you what I kind of used to write when I was a kid. I failed. I actually failed at doing running writing. Like, that's my attempt at running writing when I was nine. Um, so, what was it like? Um, so, uh, next was what was it like? I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just going to talk about this one mainly because it's like the oldest one I have. Um so I guess uh, I remember getting it from a grocery store in the stationery section. 
and of course I dated my pages. I actually got into that habit pretty early. <laughs> so question five is what are your favorite kinds of pens to use in your journals? I am always 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 using gel pens. I bought like four packs of 50 pack of gel pens. Um, it was either nine dollars or five dollars um, each um, before the school year started which was back in January this year. So I had 200 gel pens all together. So these were the gel pens that were in those packets. They actually filled up to the top of this box. I'm slowly getting through them all and I actually have no idea where I'm going to buy like more gel pens. Because there was, they're always like kind of expensive. And, the, and these ones, they were like a pack of 50 for like 5 or $9. I think I'm pretty sure it was $5. And I'm probably never going to find another good deal like that. I'm probably going to have to like buy them online in bulk or something like that. Like, oh, I don't know. This is actually going to be like the coolest thing ever. Um, I went to Office Wax a few days ago, and when I was having a browse, I found this stand, and it was like to build your own pen, and I was like, OMG. So you can choose your own pen barrel, and it could either be five or three, um, in a barrel. And of course I chose the five barrel and then you chose five ink refills which they had all open and displayed. So you could either choose a 0.5 or a 1.0 refill and I chose the 0.5 for each of the refills because they would last longer because like you're using like less ink and it was like so so cool and like just making your own pen like just choosing your refills and your colours was like really cool. And this is the barrel, it's just like this little plastic one. There was like this metallic one, but it was like $9 something, but this was $3. So this is kind of like an $8 pen altogether. Um, so I've got like two different blues, a violet, uh, I think this is a rose pink, and just like a normal pink. And it was just like really cool. I don't know why, but... Um, I'm probably going to end up refilling once every one or two months because the refills are a dollar each and when you add up the cost, you kind of, like, it really will add up. Like, you're just refilling, refilling, refilling if they always run out. Um, so I'm using this pen wisely. Um, so, yeah. So question six is how has your journaling style changed? My journaling style has changed significantly, um, especially when it came to layouts and decorating. When I was younger, I just only wrote on pages and, um, oh, of course I only wrote on pages. <laughs> I wrote pages and just, that's it, I just wrote. And I would do like, sometimes like maybe like a little drawing of a flower somewhere on the corner. But for example, this one, um, it was just complete writing that was it um then I started to actually this is when I first started to glue things in but it was only like tickets so for this one I actually have tagged some of the pages that I might show this is actually a movie ticket that my first boyfriend gave me we went and see a movie saw Pitch Perfect 2 which was great but it's all faded now which is kind of a bummer but um this is the ticket and I have, a, like, a wristband from, like, an entry thing. You know how you go to festivals and all that? You can get a wristband, like, those paper ones. But um, it wasn't from a festival. It was only from um, when I went to Laser Tag. We had to have, like, this wristband thing. That's in there somewhere. Um, this one uh, was just from 2011. I actually never completed this one. Um, but this was just writing as well. And when I completed this one, I moved on to this um, one from Kiki K. And this is when I started to really glue things in. And it just kind of grew, grew on from then. Um, I glued in like little things from packets. So this was from my um, completely blue journal, which was this one. And... It got, they just got thicker, I glued in like brooches, um, I glued in chocolate, packages of, um, packets of the chocolate and I glued in math results. 
That's great. Okay, this is like completely off topic. Um, so I just kind of got scared. <laughs> it's windy outside and um, my door just like opened and I saw Annabelle creation last night. So kind of in the horror movie mode at the moment. Continuing on. So as I was saying, it just, my journaling style just kept changing gradually. I glued in more. I even watercolored some of the pages um, this one, all the water, all the pages are watercolored, and glued in more. And I began to actually kind of do other things as well, which was to um, do quotes and um, song lyrics, and it's like quotes, as, more quotes as well um, on this page. And I glued in like little pamphlets. When I kept gluing things in and doing more more decorating, more, um, gluing, <laughs> it, they just got thicker, they just, like, grew and grew, so, um, yeah, <laughs> question seven is, what other paper crafts do you enjoy, um, to be honest, I really kind of don't have any other paper crafts that I kind of enjoy, if you call gluing in things in journals, craft paper crafts there you go um, I actually used to do actual like album scrapbooking but um that was when I was like really young so the last question is what are some of your favorite journaling YouTube channels to watch those are definitely witty novels the journal CEO and Johanna Clough they are seriously my journal queens <laughs> witty novel does her um journal flip throughs and they are so, so inspiring and they are like really, really motivating me to write more. In fact, when I'm writing, sometimes I do like a witty novel journal flip through marathon. I press play on a journal flip through playlist um, and I watch, listen and write. And I just really love her videos, especially journaling ones. And the journal CEO is amazing as well. Her videos include journal collections and even her pen collections as well. Some of them are empty journal collection videos. And like witty novels, I press play and watch them and listen and I write at the same time. And lastly is Johanna Clough. Her journal videos are fantastic. She makes her, um, she has an Etsy shop for her journals that she makes. And she's really inspiring as well. Um, her junk journal videos are like filled with inspiration. Johanna is also who got me into decorating my pages, especially using watercolours. Pretty much all three of those um, YouTubers, they had a big influence um, to me when journaling because probably if I didn't watch any of them videos, um, these would not be how they are. Like, they inspired me so, so much and I look up to them um, a lot. So that is it for this journal tag. Um, I hope you enjoy and if you do wish to do your own video... Um, I'll put down the questions in the description box and I'll also put in the the links for um, the witty novels, the journal CEO and Johanna Clough in the, in the description box as well. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the journaling addict. I'll link that in the description as well. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye.